So welcome to the third ever podcast on uh, Motor B. Man, today we are going to talk about BS six cars. Why BS six cars are so boring, or why BS four cars are more fun to drive? And this is Daniel. I am Parth, and we'll be discussing this on Motor B podcast. So uh, where do we begin, Daniel? Uh, we begin with the part when we discussed last time about EVs, CNGs, hybrids, and all of that. But everybody's focus is basically like in current time. Safety, safety and mileage. Two mileage. Things. Bus. Uske upar nobody thinks only. What about fun? Cars were all about fun. Yeah. Wheel spins and all of that. Kidar gaya ye sab? And I'm not talking about expensive cars. They are always fun to drive. They are powerful. I'm talking about the affordable ones. Okay. Exactly. Jab se B6 hai, I think the feel of cars has changed a lot. So we still have good cars, but somehow jo BS3, BS4 mein jo feel aati thi na gaadi chalane mein, wo hai hi nahi. Full fun, full screeching, putting down the throttle, turning off traction control. Even I remember those cars didn't even have traction control. Now each and every car is getting a traction control. All that is also fine, but some of the tuning of the engines is is so different now that somehow even the powerful engines they don't feel as punchy as you know. What they used to feel like in BS4 era. So, चल BS6 की बात तो that came in April 2020, the norms and exactly. right after the Auto Expo and almost every major manufacturer had to upgrade their cars to meet the BS6 norms. Yes. Now, इसमें what happened? If they don't do it, they can't sell the. They car. can't sell the car. Okay. So, there were a lot of good discounts on BS4 cars <laughs> in March. So, anyway, a lot of manufacturers upgraded the petrol engines of their cars. That was well and good. Diesel में a lot of popular diesel engines got discontinued. Okay, and some of them were there. So, Tata, Mahindra. Hyundai and who else? All these companies they were selling Volks, diesel engines. Volkswagen, Kabul. Volkswagen discontinued their diesel engine, Haan. and Maruti discontinued. That was of course Fiat's engine, one point three liter multi jet, the national diesel engine of India. So most of the sub cars were there. Tata was there. Chevrolet was there. And Nissan was there. I think. I like and it. Fiat's car was there. I like it how you say national diesel engine of India. <laughs> so, so all these popular diesel engines got discontinued. One point five TDI, two liter TDI, one point five DCI, one point three MJD. These all engines banned were. And of course, these cars did, did come with uh, petrol engines after that. Yeah. Right? Hyundai was offering B6 diesel. Honda was offering B6 diesel. I remember the i10, i20, even having diesel engine options. The Honda Amaze. Amaze had diesel. WRV had diesel. Correct. Honda City has diesel. And yes. Has has yeah. Tata is also offering diesel with the Altros, Nexon, all these cars, more right. cars. Now the thing is that the B6 engines are so complicated. The diesel engines, petrol is still fine. Diesel main. The thing is that almost every manufacturer is facing issues with the B6 diesel engines because yet. of limiting their pollution. Because diesel engines pollute. Yeah. They have to limit that with DPF. Okay? DPF is there, so DPF issue happens on every car. Imagine Toyota may have that issue. Fortune or Renault may. <laughs> it happens in Tata, Mahindra. Hyundai, सब में होता है ठीक है and the whole uh, engineering has become so complex that the engines aren't as simplified as they were before like you know in the BS4 era and that has some somewhat led to a major difference in the way the power is delivered Correct. and somehow it just feels different to drive BS6 car it does not I'm feel saying, amazing it feels okay you're getting yeah. things done yeah but that's what it's all about you're getting things done cars are not about getting things done cars are about having fun getting things done करना तो बस में जाओ Exactly. Bus me jao, rickshaw me jao. Exactly. <laughs> But bus is also fun to drive, by the way. Ah. However, I'll agree on this point, and I'll bring in this part that the Yamaha R15 from the version two, version three, version four. So the BS3 version three was one of the most powerful R15s ever made. Yeah. I, I'm not sure BS3 or BS4, but it was probably the BS3 producing a little more than 19 horsepower mm-hmm, mm. from a 155 cc engine. Yeah. And same the BS6 engine, which has no other change to the engine, but because thoda sambhalna hai, they have to control the emissions and all that. The power has gone down to 18 bhp. Yeah. The weight has come up by one and a half two kgs. Uh, the newer might... bikes ah. are feeling slow. They are feeling sluggish. BS3 RC 390s. Always oh, the feel of the news. Are it used to it used to be so scary, and now the RC it feels so more controlled. Easy. Yeah. वो नहीं है फील एंथुजियास्ट वाली मतलब पीपल माइट से कि एक हॉर्स पावर कम हुआ बट इट मेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस नॉट वन हॉर्स पावर द ट्यूनिंग मेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस एक्जेक्टली इफ यू कंपेयर द बीएस थ्री आरसी बीएस फोर आरसी एंड द बीएस सिक्स द न्यू लुक आरसी बीएस सिक्स इज द मोस्ट एरोडायनेमिक If you do a drag race, the BS3 will win. I know it will win. गाड़ी में ये सेम सीन है. You drive any car of the BS4 era and the same model of the BS6 era, you will say that the BS4 car is more fun to drive. चल Honda City पकड़ लेते. The BS6 Honda City petrol manual. It is fast. It is fun to drive. Okay. And one of the best cars in the mass market segment. Below yes. 20 lakh. Yes. It is fast, but when you drive the BS4 Honda City, then somehow that car feels more, you know, more uh, enthusiastic in the way it delivers all the power. It feels more raw. It feels more you eager. Get, you you get that 
you get two <clears throat> things from no enjoy pushing that car yes there are two there are two reasons behind yeah. it. number one being there is a little bit of fear that it is it is having a punch to it yeah the things that you are not expecting it's doing that and then comes the control that you get from it yeah yeah control rawness vibrations that you get from it bs6 is way too refined it is way it. too controlled i say it is controlled yes and manufacturers have also gone you know efficiency centric and emissions centric with this now that is not a bad thing but usme kya ho raha hai ki it is a bad thing for enthusiasts for enthusiasts yeah. now chal take maruti's engine okay k15 b aata tha pehle now it is k15 c k15 c is a smooth engine <laughs> one of the smoothest engines in the segment okay it is very efficient also but somehow it does not have the feel of the k15b engine the power power figures are more or less the same bahut hi minor difference hai uh-huh. but the k15b actually used to feel more sprightly it used to feel more responsive this one feels quite lazy in comparison is this the same case with the brezza that's happened yeah the new updated uh, the latest brezza is k15c uh-huh. the previous generation used to be k15b uske pehle to diesel aati thi that was another level so i remember pushing that car and wo kitna the bucket wala feel hai na ha huh. the brezza used to give it although it's a heavy car compared yeah. to me but there was a kick in the butt feel or at the least the new brezza push. feel so lazy aaram aaram se chalti hai wo mileage and not just maruti i'm saying matlab every brand has done this you take the old hyundai cars for example the old i20 1.4 liter diesel engine <laughs> I was a beast. Who bhagti thi? It was a pocket rocket. The second generation I twenty. Yeah. The third generation is also fast enough with the one point five liter engine. But somehow the feel of that old engine was on another level. So I think the era from two thousand five to probably two thousand sixteen seventeen we had the best cars, you know, yes. for enthusiasts. And all of those cars came on a budget. Exactly. The, the Isuzu Max road... V Cross was thirteen lakh rupees five years back <laughs> on road. <laughs> Abhi thirty lakh rupees kya thi ho? It's more than double. Way more than double. We had cars like the Ford Fiesta, the old Ford Figo oh, diesel. I remember the Ford Classic also at that one point. These were so affordable. These were diesel. They were fun to drive. The old Swift diesel, Ritz diesel. Kya gadi aati hai sab. The Fiesta had a one point six diesel, right? Du Dura Torque or something like that. There was a one point four liter diesel also, which Figo me bhi aata tha, and it was and a very nice. And even though it was a one point four. It felt. It strange. had less power on paper, but the feel it had, the kind of acceleration. A lot of people have those cars today, so I'm sure a lot of you guys also have. So <laughs> let us know in the comment section below. What do you think about those cars? Because I used to love the Fiesta. Okay, jab leni thi tab budget tha nahi. Jab budget aaya to Ford chala gaya hai se. And uh, so this is what I'm saying. The era before 2017, we had the best cars: the old Skoda Lora, the Octavia. Look, we still have the new generation of these cars, but purani wali me jo feel thi, it's and not I, available anymore. I remember having a Skoda diesel engine. There was a black mark to your tail section. Yeah. There were times like that. Like I've seen the Superbs and Loras with a black area marked on the yeah, over the exhaust. But the way they pulled with a black smoke, they used to anything that was left out yeah. was the black smoke, and the car <laughs> used to shoot. These affordable cars were fun to drive. They used to accelerate like crazy. They used to give competition to luxury cars. Yeah, and fact that now, as we, if if there's anyone who's looking to buy one, these mm-hmm. diesel second hand cars are so expensive. Yes. When Swift diesel discontinued, when Arteaga diesel discontinued, the resale value of the existing diesel cars went up. So people were selling second hand Swift diesels for seven, eight lakh rupees, nine lakh rupees. And a baby, you go seven lakh ke niche, you don't get a Swift diesel. Most popular cars that Swift, Arteaga, Vitara Brezza, Vitara Brezza. So all these three cars specifically cost just as much as a new car. Yeah. Even the Polo and the Vento diesel automatic. I think it's crazy this is value even though they are expensive to maintain yes but people are still buying them just because of the feel of the feel that bs4 feel the punch and of course mileage also usme acha mileage milta tha tabhi bhi and the lora used to be so good what else we had at that time i was not a i am i'm still not a car guy i am a bike guy for <laughs> there were lots of good cars the duster diesel it was a oh, yes course. yes we had one in the motor beam garage for so many years yes, different, I different iterations I manual amt all wheel drive sabti hamare paas yes and for me because i was a bike guy you all gave me the terrano instead of giving me the duster for something <laughs> terrano was no different because it was the same car only same car same engine just looking different feeling yeah, different. Yeah. it was a proper work horse for me i agree on that yes these diesel cars were good and uh, somehow it there was one more same engine From this in the logi. Logi, oh that was a work pass. I I I put down a cycle inside it without taking off the wheels. Took it everywhere. Sat almost ten people in that car. Took it to Lonawala and back. That was one one of my college <laughs> trips which I did. Thanks to you guys, which gave me the car. <laughs> and the car used to fly. Stability was never an yeah. issue. Engine was never an issue. Mileage was never an issue. And the logi was cheap to buy. Eight nine lakh rupees. Kya thi? Ten lakh maximum. I know. I know. I Now you don't get anything but ten lakh rupees. But do you know how things have changed in the place of the logi? Now we get 
ड्राइवर इट्स गुड कार ड्राइव इज अ गुड कार बट इट हैज अन लीटर एन ए पेट्रोल इंजिन वहां पे वन पॉइंट फाइव डीजल आता था लॉजी वेन लॉजी वॉज अ फुल साइज बिगर Yes, this is sub four meter tribal, by the way. I know, I know. So we had some good fun with the logi, and we are enjoying the tribal even now. Yeah. However, I miss the logi a lot. <laughs> I miss a lot of cars actually. So when I was so, in college, tell me one thing: which is the car that you regret not buying? Uh, see, I tell you, I was in college in two thousand twelve, thirteen. No, ha, sorry. This <laughs> interesting. Yeah. And at that time, cars used to be so. Cheap compared to what they are selling for today, right? So yes. At that time, the BMW 320D Corporate Edition in 2011-12, that was around 24 lakh rupees ek showroom. What? The old X1 used to be around 22 lakh, just yeah. to discounts yeah. and all. ये तो ठीक है. The Skoda Lora 1.8 TSI, that was my favorite car at that time. Okay, it used to, the normal one, Ambient or Elegance, that used to be around 11-12 lakh rupees. The VRS was approximately 15-16 lakh rupees. And that used to look tough. That used to have like 160-170 horsepower, and it was an amazing car, but I was in college. I did not have the budget to buy that car. Yeah, fifteen lakhs at that time was really big amount. Too much for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At that time, Honda selling the third generation city in India till two thousand fourteen. Even that car was very nice. You that was. Have, I have a fourth generation now. You have the fourth generation. Yeah. So he actually ended up buying something. I got nothing. <laughs> right. Tell you the third generation city. I took a test drive of the third generation city. Uh, I went in my beat to take a test drive of that car. And no, nah, beat me. Nah, I went in my spark to take a test drive. I love the city so much. <laughs> It was flying, and it used to be nine lakh rupees at that time, ten years, nine, eleven, twelve years back. Okay, yeah. so anyway, the Lora VRS is a car which I regret not buying. Now I can go and buy one in the used car market, but those cars are really old now, so really ten years old. old so yes, yeah. it makes sense buying. So and this is what they will be expensive to maintain too. Ha, parts, parts, parts are available, but they are very expensive now. And honestly, the age of the car is too much now. I'd rather buy a third generation Octavia now Excellent. for six, seven lakh rupees. Makes more sense, yes, definitely. So this is what it is. I think the golden era of automobiles is and behind us. I, I believe, I believe that we are the only generations who have. Uh, we have enjoyed everything, right, from vintage cars to classics, yes. and then the new ones, and now and, and we are moving towards EVs now. Puny electrics. <laughs> Sorry to say that, but yeah. Appliances. We are moving towards four-wheeled appliances now. Yes. So I have just one piece of advice for all of you guys. If you want to have fun, go out and buy a used car, which is fun to drive, cheap to maintain. Parts are available. There's good service support. Enjoy these ICE cars for as much as you can because the future is electric. I'm not saying electric cars will be very boring. They will be fun to drive in their own way. But the okay. real feel of cars. If you want to experience that, buy a second-hand car right now, or if your budget permits, buy a new car now. ICE. Preferably and enjoy it to the fullest because ten years down the line we'll watch this video again and then we'll think, yo, what car do we regret not buying? Yes, and I I'll have a longer list at that time. I want to buy an M three forty I right. You know, I I regret not buying one car. Which the Tata Safari Storm. Oh man, Safari Storm! How did I forget that in the video? <laughs> I had it in my. It had a crazy feel. We had one in the Motor Beam long term fleet. We had actually two of them: one in Bombay, one in Delhi. Uh -huh. Delhi one was four by two, I think, and the Bombay one was Varicor four hundred four by four. Yes, and I remember taking one of the cars to Goa with my family, putting on a luggage and <laughs> put on the carrier on the media. Yes, <laughs> I remember. I had put it a temporary carrier just because we were seven people, and I'll tell you this: we enjoyed. The uh, Safari Storm. That also had amazing feel. Even the old Scorpio. Yes, that is still on sale as the classic, but, but the diesel Scorpio. Ah, uh, it was amazing. Twenty twenty two kilometers per liter used to get around, say right. Abhi bhi mil jata hai classic to milti hai abhi bhi sale pe same price mein. Not but same. It's not the same price. It's after the, the price same. has gone up a bit. It's not the same feel anymore. Ah, the feel is not there. BS four Scorpio ki alag feel it used to fly. Abhi bhot controlled hai. And the N is much better now. It is. It is for the same price you get a better vehicle overall. Yeah, <laughs> a matured vehicle. Not matured a, vehicle, safer better. also. Yeah, classic yeah. zero stars. Vehicle. I guess on that bread note, it's time to end. Chalo, goodbye, guys. And if you want us to cover any particular topic, let us know in the comment section below. And have a great day. Happy New Year.